Hey guys, welcome back to Ask a CPA. And today's question comes from Lewis in Salt Lake City, Utah. Lewis asks, I own a small retail business and would like to have my kids perform some jobs around the shop. Are there any tax issues with hiring my children? Now, Lewis submitted his question through our website at askacpa.co. If you have any tax or accounting questions, you can submit them through our website. Again, that's askacpa.co. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification down below to be notified of any new videos. Now, hiring your children can be a fantastic experience for your kids and a huge tax deduction for your business, a definite win-win. In today's video, we're gonna be going through and addressing the following questions. When can you hire your children as employees? How much can you pay your children? Do your kids qualify for retirement contributions, which would be a 401k or a Roth? And does your child need to file a tax return? What jobs can your child do? And what documentation is required? All right, guys, let's get these kids working. Now, growing a generational business is the end goal for many entrepreneurs. Building a business your children can one day take over is the ultimate legacy. Hiring your children in the business is the first step in planting that seed. Working the family business teaches children many important life lessons. They will learn about entrepreneurship, taking initiative, putting in a hard day's work, and how to keep commitments. Hiring your children as employees of your business can also be a huge tax deduction. As long as they're doing reasonable work and the proper documentation is established, the tax deduction is legit. The IRS has come out with clear guidance on the tax rules for hiring your children and dependents, which I'll link in the video description down below. Now, children can be hired at any age as long as the work and the pay is reasonable. Many business owners have their children performing these duties and would be eligible to pay them wages and take this tax deduction, but are unaware that they can do this. This is the best part. In 2023, children can be paid wages up to $13,850 tax-free, which is the standard deduction for individual single tax filers. Here's how it works. Each child can be paid up to $13,850 in annual wages for tax year 2023. Now, FICA taxes, which are payroll taxes, including Medicare and Social Security, are not required to be withheld from the child's wages if the business is structured as a sole proprietorship, a single member LLC, or an LLC that's taxed as a partnership, which is solely owned by the taxpayer and spouse. Now, FICA taxes are required to be withheld from your child's wages if your business is structured as a C corporation or an S corporation. Now, the business takes a tax deduction for the full $13,850 paid to each child, lowering the taxable income for your business by that amount. If this is the child's only income, they'll not be required to file a tax return since they do not meet the minimum filing requirements. And finally, your child must perform reasonable and age-appropriate tasks to earn those wages. So do your kids qualify for retirement contributions? And the answer is absolutely. Since your child has earned income, they qualify to make retirement contributions, including tax deductible IRAs and Roth IRAs. Now imagine hiring your child at age five and contributing the maximum amount to a Roth IRA each year. When they graduate college at age 22, assuming a 7% rate of return, they would have over $164,000 in a Roth IRA. If this is your child's only income, they will not be required to file a tax return since they do not meet the minimum filing requirements set by the IRS. Depending on your kids' ages, there are numerous jobs that they can tackle. Just keep in mind, you must pay them the same amount that you would pay another employee of equal skill and ability. Here are some of the jobs that your kids could tackle. They could be models for your website and social media. This is really great for younger kids. They could do data entry, update your CRM, your client data, etc. They could clean your office, your warehouse, your studio. They could do marketing materials. They could be passing out flyers. They could be creating social media posts for your business. 
They could do social media. They could create video content, and other social media posts, or they could do administrative tasks. They could answer the phone, post and send emails, confirm meetings, and other various administrative tasks. So keeping up with hours and documenting the work performed is key to substantiating any business deduction. When it comes to hiring your kids, the need for substantial documentation is even higher. If you're audited, it will certainly be an area where the auditor will address. If you're paying your children an hourly wage, make sure you keep a log of when the child worked, what jobs were performed, and how much they were paid. Regularly occurring checks should also be made. Try to avoid making one large payment at the end of the year. Showing these regularly occurring payments significantly improves your tax position. And that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button down below as we post regular videos for entrepreneurs, small business owners, and accounting professionals. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.